really are free. All you have to do is keep your eyes open and win them. As many thousands announce that nominates a free day each month and gives things away at random. Jonathan Creek on how investing a small portion of your time can pay big dividends. I went online and I want an Apple iPod Touch. I want a Xbox 360 and a Nintendo Wii. If you love free stuff, then this is for you. This is marketing and it's winning. Cars to computers, holidays and handbags, even jewellery and clothes. The latest and greatest, free. One day a month, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of products are being given away. I couldn't believe it. I thought, no, that was too easy. It just can't be that easy. But now I've got it in my hands, I realise it was that easy. Vicky Blake won an Apple iPod. All she did was log on and register, naming the companies from whom she'd received product information and special offers. That made her eligible to win free products from those companies put up for grabs on Free Stuff Day. The catch is actually winning. You have to be first to click on the item when it randomly becomes available at any time during the 24-hour period. There was a few items that I really wanted and I had them all up on my screen, ready and waiting. Kept refreshing and refreshing. I did have to refresh a lot. <laughs> and finally it came up that it was available and all I had to do was click on it and it said I had won. So it was that easy. I wanted a Nintendo Wii before I heard about this site. Uh, it would have been on my Christmas list. And then um, to get the Xbox 360 two months later was amazing. Richard Berry is a Free Stuff Day veteran. So far there have only been three giveaway days and he has won on two of them. You can get anything for free. Uh, if you had have told me that three months ago, um, I would have laughed. But um, to get two products in three months um, for the price of an internet connection, uh, it's great and anyone can do it. The kicker for the companies is that by registering an interest, consumers create a direct marketing super list allowing businesses to identify them for information and special offers. They're only going to get feedback or information from the companies that they themselves want to get feedback from. It's certainly a lot more cost effective than the old hit and miss method known as junk mail. We thought we want to give uh, people a really good experience, learn about companies in a fun way, a way that uh, rewards them, but also give businesses a fantastic uh, result as well with their marketing spend and Free Stuff Day's worked a treat. Peter Edwards claims the concept is about giving the consumer power and being rewarded without their details being on sold. It's great for us as a business to be able to, to give something away rather than spending our advertising dollar in the usual way where the consumer doesn't win out at all. Owner of Organise Your Life, Claire McPhee, believes she is the winner since she signed up as a business on the Free Stuff site. We've had a 268% increase in subscribers and also a healthy 16% increase in sales so far, so we're thrilled. It's not about being bombarded by businesses that you don't want to hear about. It's about choosing which businesses you want to learn more about and then having an opportunity to get free products and special offers from them. After just 15 weeks, there are more than 40,000 registered users and close to 60 businesses vying for their interest. Next month, Toyota will be giving away a car. It does sound too good to be true, but it really is true. We actually thought our biggest issue would be people believing that Free Stuff Day was real. Everyone wins in the end. Jonathan Creek reporting. Still ahead.